Good morning guys so this is what we have had to resort to um, when it comes to harvesting our motherland um, okra or okra from the motherland um, let me let you guys see <laughs> say hey spoon <laughs> yes he's had to get up on this ladder to get this okra this has to be at least 12 feet tall at least but we're gonna measure and see okay so this is the okra this is what it looks like the okra pods yeah and it is very tasty but yeah let's get this measuring tape out and see okay so down to the ground all the way to the top is how bad how much Ten foot six. Ten foot six. Got to be taller than that. Ten foot six, guys. Wow. Feet, probably, so. Another week, maybe. Another week, yeah. It seems like maybe. it gets taller every day. So, maybe, yeah. Maybe you want to grow this tall okra? <laughs> motherland or okra from the motherland? Baker Creek, Baker Creek seeds is where I got them. Very tasty okra, but very, very tall. All the okra, all the okra goes to the top. Once you cut the first rung, then the leaves just keep going to the top, and that's where the okra presents itself from. So, yep. The okra flower up there. Let me get over here so they can see it. There's a big part of a bunch of them right there. Yeah. Let me see if I could zoom in. Yeah. See how the okra. Is producing itself up at the top, right next to the flower, or around the flower. Yeah, that's how they do. They just go from there's some more right there, but that's how they do. And then, as you see, there's none down here, and you can see the little spots where we. Uh, I got it already. Yeah, you can see where we harvested the ones already. So yeah, motherland okra, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, that tree, look at how thick this uh, stem or main stem is. Look at this. Like, it's like a tree trunk, right? <laughs> that flower just fell on me. Thick as bamboo. It is thick. Look at that. Very healthy. All the way to the top. Look at this, I'm standing underneath it. <laughs> that is crazy. The roots are... Deep. Gosh, yeah, they're gonna be deep when we have to dig this thing up. I think I'm just gonna use it for a trellis. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, and as you guys see, we have two of them actually, and you see they are just about neck and neck. This one over here is a little shorter than this one right here, but yeah. It's just a different variety that we decided to grow this year, just to see which ones we like the best. And um, yeah, that's what we got out of that one. These here on the outside are like the, um, this is the, yeah, this is the Clemson spineless. And then we have some jambalaya ochre over there. And I just planted these new ones right here not too long ago. This is the emerald green. But um, so far my favorite are the uh, emerald green and the uh, jambalaya. But I love this uh, motherland okra, the way that it grows. And the pods are real nice and tender. But <laughs> you definitely need someone tall or a ladder if you're going to grow it because these things are huge. They are so tall. And he's measuring the second one so you can see how tall that one is. How tall is that one? Nine foot six. Nine foot six. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Four, five, 
got six okra. Okra pods up there. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted you guys to see this. I think it's fascinating every day. I have to go in there and get him to harvest this okra up at the top. <laughs> Alrighty, that's Every it. Day. Every day. Yes, that's right. They do produce a lot of okra. So you guys have a good day. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Peace. Here comes the rain.